guys it's only me all right so today I want to talk to you guys about something that is so important very important when I say very important I mean very important and this is something that I want to share with you guys only to do with people who wears wigs so for me I don't do sewings anymore I basically just wear wigs um, fully natural and I stopped doing sewing after I lost my edges so I lost my edges all the way back I'll show you a picture here with a picture that you could see my edges really thin I had in some braids but you could see that hair was really missing from the front that's when I decided like I'm not doing no more sewing so that's when I stopped doing sewing and decided to start making my own wigs and I come up with a concept of doing custom wigs and I have few clients and I do make custom wigs in case you guys are interested just leave me a comment below and I get it out to you okay so anyway and of course we'll talk about prices I do have a website but we'll talk about that another time but what I want to talk to you guys about today it is so important and this is how to take care of your hair your natural hair under your units under your wigs yes you must take care of your hair during the process of wearing wigs and if you wear wigs like I wear wigs every day so if you are there is process that you have to follow to make sure your hair stay healthy and continue to grow so I'm gonna go in those things I'm gonna to touch base on those products today and hopefully you guys will enjoy or it will benefit somebody so stay tuned all right so with further ado first thing I want to talk about is conditioner and shampoo and I have some products here some I don't have but I will leave the picture or I'll leave the name below so you can get the products and tell you where to get these products but the first thing that I do is I shampoo my hair every two weeks there are weeks that I go through three weeks without shampooing it but the max every two weeks I shampoo my hair under my units and I con roll them to the back like I do very small con rolls to the back under my units so they can lay pretty flat okay but what I use to shampoo my hair is this product right here and this is the conditioning shampoo by Michelle you guys see these products everywhere they have a large line a humongous line now I love this this is for dry and curly hair hair type and it can be used for natural hair now they also have a natural line that you can purchase but I prefer this line it works very well so this it just not only have regular shampoo it has conditioning shampoo and is sulfate free and is color safe which means if your natural hair has any color on it permanent color or semi permanent color it will work so this is a shampoo that I use another shampoo that I use is from the Carol's daughter collection I don't have it currently with me but it's from the Carol's daughter collection and again that collection is very large I've even seen she they have covered that product on Oprah so that product is out there if you can Google Carol's daughter you'll find the product for natural hair I use that shampoo and the conditioner this shampoo and the conditioner and what you do is shampoo and condition your hair regularly keep your scalp clean another thing that I suggest you do in the event that you're not able to shampoo your hair sea breeze everybody know about sea breeze and what sea breeze do is a lot of people use it for their skin you can also use it for your scalp to keep your scalp clean so sea breeze can be used to keep your scalp pretty clean and it works like no man business but this is a temporary fix until you get your shampoo and conditioner done all right so, so now I like to go in with a deep conditioner any deep conditioner but I specialize in some like for instance I love to use this effigy leave-in conditioner and what I do when I put that conditioner after I shampoo my hair I put a steam cap over my head 
in the event you don't have a dryer, if you have a dryer, you can sit under the dryer. But I just walk around with a steam cap under, with you know, over my head, just to have that go through everywhere in my hair and in my follicles. So I do that, then I rinse it out, and then I'll go in with a conditioner, a regular conditioner. Now you can also leave, do a leave-in conditioner, which is you know, leave it in, as it says, a leave-in conditioner. You can go with a leave-in conditioner. When your hair is dry, there is a regimen that I would like for you guys to do every two days, every two days. Now, I'm gonna be talking about this substance. So what I just covered was how you wash your hair and how you treat and do a leave-in conditioner for your hair. That's one section. The other part to the story is, I get an applicator bottle like this, that's what it looks like, and these are like 99 cents at the beauty supply store, and it's an applicator bottle, we'll say, and it has a couple measurements at the back that tells you how to measure for in the, in the event you need to do some coloring or whatever, it has the diagram at the back for the measurement. But what I'd use this for is, I get me some Jamaican black castor oil, and you can find this at the beauty supply store. I don't have the container because I throw it away. But a Jamaican black castor oil, that's the best one. After that, I get me some tea tree oil. Tea tree oil. And then I got some, I think it's Jobana. I pronounce it J-O-J-O-P-A oil and I mix everything into this container and what I do is every other morning I go in and I moisturize my scalp moisturize my scalp back and forth moisturize my scalp and after I, mu I massage it so I go in and I rub it like rub it in each areas also, you guys know that I've done a video on how to use a monostat to grow back your edges. Yes, the monostat. I know you guys are going to say that's for yeast infection, but guys, it worked miracle on your edges. So after I put the oil, I put the monostat there and I let it sit there for a while. Then I go in and I work it in like in circular motion. So that's what I do. And the reason why I want you guys to do that is... Whenever you're wearing wig, most of us, most of us wear a stacking cap. Most of us wear a stacking cap. Now you know, although it says, most of them says a breathable fiber, it is not good for your hair. So just imagine your hair unmoisturized, sitting under this cap, plus your regular wig cap, whether you use the Japanese swim caps or the dome caps to make your wigs, just, rem just imagine both of those things sitting on top of your hair through the day, every day. What do you think will happen to your hair? It will break. So that is why it's very important to keep it moisturized and keep the scalp clean. Very important. Another thing, when you're going to your bed, of course, some people sleep in their wigs. I don't. I always have a satin. It's a satin. I got this in the beauty supply store. It's very long. And I just tie my head up when I'm going to bed. Some people sleep on a satin pillowcase. I haven't got there yet. I figure once I tie my head up with this, I'm good to go. So make sure you tie your head up going to bed because for some reason when you sleep and your, your head is left uncovered, it's like you're rubbing it and tearing from your edges and all of that if you sleep bad. <laughs> but if you don't, then don't worry about it. But you're supposed to cover your head while you're asleep. So again, so make sure you moisturize. Some Jamaican black castor oil works miracle. Of course, add you some tea tree oil and they have all different types. I just picked this one up. It's actually $3 for it. And this Jumboya oil, if I'm pronouncing it well, is actually expensive. It's actually $6.99 for it. I just have a little bit left in it. So again, and another conditioner that I try, guys, before I forgot, is this Dr. Is Dr. Miracle. 
I always get these in the beauty supply store and they have different, different, different type. But I always get the one that says deep conditioner and I do the same thing as I do with the Afogee. So if I'm not doing the Afogee, I will use the Dr. Miracle deep conditioner. And this one is a $1.99. You cannot beat that for your hair to be healthy. And if you take care of your hair in that manner, I promise you it will grow and it will be so healthy. Which way, which means you don't have to stop wearing your wigs. And of course you can stay away from sewings. I am an advocate against sewing after I lose my edges. But guys, my edges is back, back and beautiful because I do these things every day and I use my monostat. All right? So hopefully you guys will try some of these products. I will leave them down below. And of course you will see them all over the screen showing you. But make sure you try these products and let me know if they work for you. If you wear wigs like me, guys, please take care of your hair underneath your wigs. It is important. Very important. Do I need to say that anymore? No. It is so important. Anyway, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning back into my, mm -hmm. my channel every week. I was going to say challenge. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for the support. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love y'all.